So what's going on guys? I figured I would just say what's up face to face with you guys before we went into the video of this Buick because usually you just see my face whenever I'm saying like and subscribe and comment and ring that flipping bell and yeah, man it's actually getting hot. Hold on, it's getting hot. Oh, that feels much better. I live in Florida, man. It's really hard to wear a jacket. I thought I looked a lot better in it, but I feel, man, I just gotta wear a t-shirt. It feels a lot nicer with a t-shirt on too. So yeah. What's going on? I hit 2,300 subscribers, that was a big deal. I really do want to do a Let's Talk like I did back when I hit 1,000, well, 1,500 subscribers, I did a Let's Talk video. I really want to do another one of those, and I just need your guys' input. If you haven't seen that video, go down in the description, click it, and give it a watch. It's kind of like a video that updates on everything that's currently going on with me and the channel, and I kind of want to do those once a month, and I really just need your guys' input. If you think that kind of video would be cool just to do every now and then, let me know down in the comments below, and that right there is my dog is barking out back. Chloe! So yeah, anyways, if you guys think that'd be a cool video to have like once a month or so, just to kind of get a idea of everything going on with me, what kind of details there might be coming up, any new products that might be coming out. I want to talk about graphene. If you're in the detailing industry, you know what graphene is. It's kind of like this new blow up of a product just like kind of like ceramic so yeah I, I really want to just kind of go over maybe products I don't know I just really need your guys's input and it's really you who will dictate whether or not I do this usually I'm really interactive with you guys in the comments you guys like to tell me what is good and what's not good and I really love that that interaction is somewhere I can get nowhere else especially when it comes to detailing I've learned so much more than I would from anyone from you guys of course there's some stuff down there and there's some really good stuff down there so I really want to come to you guys and see if that kind of video would be cool so yeah I mean I'm kind of rambling at this point but let me know your ideas and thoughts of that kind of a video down in the comments below let me know if that would be something you'd want to see or if not maybe just stick to only detailing videos but either way if you could before we continue on with this video go ahead and press like for me go ahead and press subscribe if you like detailing sort of content and go ahead and ring that bell that we know every single time I upload I upload weekly here give or take a little more little less time you know sometimes it's a few days before or after usually it's after I don't know why I say before because it's always after so yeah let's go ahead and get on with these wheels because they're pretty dirty and they turn out really nice So yeah guys, I just need your input honestly about doing that sort of video. It would be titled Let's Talk and it's just going to be general talking I guess for me about the detailing industry and or products and or what my future looks like with certain details or something I did that week with a certain car or whatever it might be. I really just want to talk to you guys. And I don't mean like a podcast form. No, it'd be like a 10 to 12 minute video and maybe more of course because I can, I can talk a lot. But honestly, I don't want to make it like a podcast format. I just want to have a generalized video that would be just me talking. And it would be sometime in the middle of the week too. It wouldn't take away from the detailing videos, it would just be an additive. If you didn't see my first Let's Talk video, it is linked down below in the description, but moving away from that, now we have this Buick here that's in pretty rough shape, and we're definitely going to need to give some attention to detail to this exterior, but we're starting with the wheels first. As always, I'm using P&S Brake Buster in my hand pump foam sprayer, and we're going off on these wheels to try to get them nice and clean. <laughs>
once again we got another car that took about three or four passes on the tires to get them nice and clean. Little rule of thumb here guys, whenever you spray your wheel cleaner on there and you scrub it down and the suds are still like a blackish, brownish, nasty color, spray it off, put some more cleaner on it and then keep scrubbing time and time again until those soap suds have turned white because what that's telling you is that the tires are clean and they will be good for put dressing on it. So what you saw there was a nice cinematic of me using the foam cannon and then my brush to get into all the little nooks and areas that are really hard to get. With this car I chose to go foam cannon first and then do the actual pre-rinse so that way whenever I went to pre-rinse the vehicle all the dirt and stuff could be sopped up in the foam itself. Sop up i guess that's a word all in all just for the sake of lubricating the exterior as i was pre-rinsing it because there was a lot of dirt especially on the back and what the foam's gonna do is whatever that word is i said it's pretty much gonna engulf that dirt and then let it slide off the surface without any issues you don't necessarily need to do it but i do it just because it's fun to use a foam cannon and it looks better on camera whenever you can use a foam cannon in slow motion with some cinematic bars that come down from the top
This car definitely needed a hand wash, and after we got done washing it and spraying it all down, the results really do speak for themselves. I mean, a black car that has been treated properly with taking all the dirt off and properly hand washed, it just looks so nice. And if you're watching closely, there was a little clips of me washing it twice, I guess you could say. I went through washing the entire car and realized that I did not film it in slow-mo like the proper frame rate, so I had to go back in certain places of the car, refoam it down, and then wash it again because I had to get some slow-mo footage for you guys. It's just something I have to do. With the exterior being fully hand washed now, sprayed down and dried off, it's time to use Bead Maker. This is a paint polymer sealant that's pretty much used as a topper made by P&S. You spray a little bit into your towel and then you spray some on the surface, wipe down the surface, flip your towel and then pick the rest up. You guys know how you do spray sealants and spray waxes. It works the same exact way with this stuff. Only difference is with Bead Maker is that the hydrophobic properties are insane as well as the gloss. It literally is the perfect topper to wrap up every single detail with no matter what you have on the surface. If it's nothing, if it's a wax, if it's a sealant, if it's even a ceramic coating, this stuff works tremendously. I can't really speak for graphene though because I've never used it and I'm still learning about it. If you look right here as I'm wiping away the excess product that's on the paint, I mean really the results are amazing. I <laughs> I speak for Bead Maker every freaking video, it's getting insane, but uh, it's good. And what we're going to do to the windows here is use my glass cleaner and clean off all the windows and then put Bead Maker on the glass as well, not just for the extra additive gloss, but also the hydrophobic properties that it can give the windows for whenever it's raining and stuff. I mean, right now we're in Florida with that time where it rains every day pretty much, and this will definitely help combat that without wearing out the wipers. When you see the tire dressing come out, you know we've pretty much reached the end of the video. What I'm using here is Chemical Guys VRP. I wanted to see if it would work in a brush because I ran out of my Meguiar's hyper dressing, but you know, just for everyone who would try this, use a microfiber applicator pad because this sucked. <laughs> but I ended up using an applicator pad afterwards just to make sure it was all even. So yeah guys, thank you so much for joining me once again, another week, another video. I really can't thank you enough. If you liked the video, go ahead and show me by leaving a like. If you like this sort of content, go ahead and press subscribe and ring that bell, that way you know every single time I upload. Thank you guys for joining me once again. Go ahead and stick around for the ending cinematic, and I will see you all next week.